I think well, there's a subtlety around dispersion in how you implement as well. So if we go back 15 years, a lot of us traded dispersion where we do the full top 50 in the S&P and we trade that against the index. Very few people do that now, I believe. Most of us are actively selecting the basket. So if I was to look at my US book today, around two thirds of the actual accrued value of current trades is actually come from my stock selection. It's not actually come from the dispersion element. So I'm making two vol points on the stock selection and only one vol point from my vague and neutral dispersion. So if you're actually doing it as a pure correlation trade, so thesis neutral, and you didn't do stock selection, actually you're flat on the year. So that's an important distinction. And what I found recently is that I've started move to, to, to move to the book to Europe because I think that's where you know, the opportunity is going forward. I think the US has had a fantastic run and it's going to balance out against Europe, particularly if you know, we get some kind of energy outcomes or, or, or something adverse in Europe, we might see some more kind of rotation in Europe that we haven't really had for the last year. Mm -hmm.